This is part five of the six books you need to get DC edition. Want to see what they are? Well, just keep watching and you shall find out. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And yes, this is part five of a five part series where I showed six books each of comics that I think you should really get and add to your collection. And this is the DC version. Uh, if you want to see the Marvel version, which actually then ended up not being intentionally Marvel, but it ended up all Marvel books. Um, Please check those out as well, and make sure you check the other videos out in case you missed them. But these are the top ones. These are going to be a little bit more expensive, but, you know, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. So these have a higher potential of becoming more and more desirable. So with that being said, let's get into it. But before I do, uh, just make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, you just got to be a subscriber, and it doesn't hurt to ask for one. All right, so this book I got back in the 80s, so I probably spent about 7 or $8 for this book. Definitely a book to get if you can get cheap. Uh, this is Adventure Comics issue number 283. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Phantom Zone, and more importantly, General Zod. Uh, if you know anything about the history of Superman, especially if you ever saw the original Superman movies, Superman 2. Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend it. It is a major character. He was also in the newer Superman movies, although I don't see that as something that's relevant in my opinion, but to each their own. Uh, this one has the top staple detached, unfortunately, but again, I paid $8 for it back in the days, and the only reason the top staple was detached is because I tried to fit it in a bag where it just didn't fit, and it popped the staple. But I did that years ago when I was younger, so mistake and lesson learned. Uh, this is a book you're probably going to spend mid-grade, around $150, maybe $200. Find a deal and uh, pounce on it if you can. But this is absolutely a very must-have book, in my opinion, and uh, worth having. Beautiful cover. All right. This one took me years to get. I just got it this year. Um, I ha This is one of the books that got stolen from me when I was younger. Actually, no, it wasn't this one. I'm sorry, it was a different book, so forget that. But this is Hawkman issue number four. This is the first appearance of Zantana. Now, that is a popular character in uh, the DC Universe. Uh, she, as far as a movie, who knows? But it's definitely worth acquiring this book. Uh, even in mid to lower grade, you're going to spend about $200 range for this book. Again, wait for deals, because as you can see here... I paid $153.33 for this book. Uh, it's probably about a 4.0 to a 4.5. Definitely a great book. Love that cover. Can't go wrong with Silver Age. Speaking of which, this one is an expensive book, but I have two of them. Deals can be found, so just make sure you hunt for them. Uh, this is Flash, issue number 139. This is the first appearance of Doctor Zoom, uh, Professor Zoom, a.k.a. Reverse Flash. Uh, he is a major Flash villain and definitely very popular. Uh, he's been in the TV shows, whether he ends up in a movie or not. Um, obviously, he won't get his own movie, but he may make an appearance in a Justice League movie. Who knows? Maybe even the Flash movie. And especially if they do a solo Flash movie. I mean, how could they not have this character? So we'll have to see what happens. But this is a very desirable book. Again, this is also Silver Age. Um, you're probably going to spend about 150 to 250 for mid-range kind of books. And when I mean mid-range, around the 5.0 mark. But again, there are deals to be made. I only paid $105.50 for this book. And that was either the beginning of this year or mid-last year. So again, deals can be found. Pass up on ones that are too expensive, and you'll find a deal. Speaking of which, this is another one of those books. I've been trying to get this for years. Took me a while. Only got it this year, but like they say, better late than never. This is a must, in my opinion. 
and it's still fairly affordable. This is Batman issue number 181, and that is the first appearance of Poison Ivy. Now, there's a very key thing in this book that is crucial. Um, it's almost like the Marvel value stamps in the Marvel books. This book, as you can see here, a double-page pinup of Batman and Robin. So in the centerfold is a, basically it's a poster of Batman and Robin. So a lot of these books do not have that poster. That is going to dramatically lower the value of this book. So make sure if you see an auction, because some people may just not know, some may just not care, and some may be trying to trick you. But if you see an auction for this and you do not see the pinup, you ask them to take photos of it and make sure, or at the very least, ask them, is the poster in this book? Because if it's not, again, it's going to lower the value. Now, this book, again, mid-range, you're going to spend about the $175 to $250 mark. Um, this has the poster intact. I will not buy it without the poster. Uh, if it's detached, I can accept that, but it's got to be in there. I paid $133 for this book. Um, it's probably a 3.0 to a 3.5, maybe a 4.0, but um, they are going to be doing the movie with Harley Quinn. Um, I don't know what they were, they're, they're actually going to call it at this point. I don't know if they're going to call it the Sirens or, you know, whatever, but there's going to be a movie where she's going to be in it. So, I mean, you're talking years away and they haven't been doing any, you know, previews or previews to the previews. So you still have time. But put this one on your radar list. You will be very happy if you did. Again, you're going to probably spend about 175 to 250 Find it cheaper than that, snag it. Now, the funny part is this is a book a couple of people were talking about. And I didn't want to ever, you know, talk about it in the other videos saying, you know, that's coming up in here. So this is definitely a must-have book. This is Green Lantern, Green Arrow, issue number 87. This is the second appearance of Guy Gardner, but most importantly, first appearance of Jon Stewart. Now, this is a 48-page book. Uh, you could see this one's been flattened. That's going to happen a lot with these thicker books. I mean, you see it all the time with Giant Size X-Men number one. So this would absolutely benefit from a pressing. But sometimes you can get deals with that. And to be perfectly honest, it doesn't really phase me. Because it still looks good. Um, this book, again, you're going to spend about $150 to $200 for mid-grade. Uh, this one has a little bit of a tear right there. And uh, some dirt, which, I mean, is to be expected with a mostly white cover. I only spent $71, I'm sorry, $79 for this book. Uh, you can find deals. So if you can grab this one, get it while you can. All right, and the number one book that I would highly recommend, and I was lucky enough to get this before the TV show was announced. So the price has gone up. But this is a must-have in the collection because if it ends up that the TV show ends up a success, this book is going to continue to rock skyrocket. This is House of Secrets issue number 92. Uh, this is the first appearance of The Swamp Thing. It is considered a classic cover. Uh, the day I saw this cover, I absolutely wanted it. Uh, it's taken me about three years to finally get one that was a decent price. I did get this sent in to PGX in one of my live videos. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Uh, it came back a 3.0. I spent a total of $380 for this book. That's about the going rate for a lower grade. You're going to spend about $400 to $500 on this book, mid-grade and below. I mean, you're talking in the thousands for higher grades, so get what you can afford. But a 0 0.5 is better than nothing, because they now have announced that there is a TV show. There were only rumors when I bought this book, because I heard the rumors, but there was nothing official. It is now official. So whether the TV show ends up you know, being good or not, we don't know, so it is a risk. But this is a popular book. Swamp Thing is a popular character. So even if the TV show doesn't, you know, become a major success, this is still a sought-after book and definitely one I would look out for if you can find a deal. So that's it. These are the six books. That is the end of the series. I will have plenty of other series where I'll mention five books under $100. 
that you could check out. They'll have both Marvel and DC. I'll try and mix it up as best as I can. Just keep in mind, like, probably 85% of my collection is Marvel. I don't hate DC, just grew up liking Marvel more. So there will be more Marvel books, but I, I will show some DC, I promise you. So I want to thank all of my subscribers that wanted me to do this series for the DC lovers. I hope that I did it justice. No pun intended. And if you appreciated these kind of videos and you thought they helped, if you were kind enough to give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. If you want to share it and help expand my channel so other people can find out information that you may have found helpful, sharing these videos are absolutely appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And like I always say, don't hit the person next to you or even across from you or definitely not from behind you unless they're doing something you really didn't want. And don't forget, not you, not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And she's very calm for a person that has a monster about to probably punch her in the face.